Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. It is Tuesday, April 27th, and we have another What's Sold video for you today. We're going to follow Kathy around to see what's sold for us. Hey guys. All right, so eBay first, box D. So these Clark sandals, got these in Nebraska for $3.99 at their Goodwill and sold them for $21.96 plus shipping. Box AJ. All right, so this is a zippity zip. So we sold one yesterday. That one I had eleven dollars into. This one I, this one was priced really cheap. So like, on my JBF haul, I put like anything that was like eight dollars, maybe even like six dollars and above in like one pile, and then everything that was under that price in another pile, and then divided it up. So these were only, this was only priced at like three or four bucks. But my average cost of goods for the lower price stuff was four eleven. So that's what I have into this one, and it sold for twenty one ninety six plus shipping. Zippity zip is a good bolo. It's was yeah, what featured on Shark sell Tank, for, but like a ton obviously. But it sells really fast. Like you saw, those two already sell in like the first week and or so. Condition can be a little bit. Yeah, that one is pretty. Yeah, dingy. Beat up stain on the hands because babies like suck on them when yeah. they sleep and stuff so people don't mind all right then i sold a hat all right so this is an avalanche hat um i got this at a garage sale last summer for a dollar and i think it was vintage i called it vintage it had a cool like lee sport old tag it was in really good shape. I don't think these people that I bought, I bought a lot of things from them. Everything was in really good shape. I don't even think they used most of the stuff. So, hmm. uh, this one, since it's been listed so long, let somebody asked me if I do 15 free ship. I had it listed at 15 plus ship. Um, and I just said, yeah, my shipping was priced at 4.99. So I just sent him a $10 offer and said, yeah, I'll do that. So 10 plus 4.99 ship. And yeah, that's headed out. And then I sold a pair of shoes. So we guys, ran out of boot shoe yeah. space. So we're you notice we put one here. of these racks in the back there. Hopefully not permanently, but... We'll this see. box used to be there. We're going to have to figure out somewhere to put that. I do like selling boots, though, so it might have to stay there for a while. <laughs> uh, so these are some Salomon boots. I got these at a local thrift for $7.99. They just sold a few minutes ago for $52.76 plus shipping. I think I listed them... Well, I didn't do any listings yesterday. Sometime this weekend then. So they sold really fast. Um, I feel like I could have got a little more, but they, they're they not in the best shape. Like, the soles are really good, but they're, like, super dirty and scuffed and stuff. So, yeah. I priced them at $59.95 plus ship, and then I... We have, like, a sale running right now, 12% off or something, so... Um, I did want to mention that I don't... I can't remember if I just decided the shipping was 14 so this person ended up living in alaska which is obviously an expensive shipping charge it says they paid 14.93 in shipping but this is going to cost me if i go through ebay 21.31 to ship out which is fine we lose like five bucks or something but actually six or seven <laughs> <laughs> so i'm gonna look at pirate ship but i never yeah. find a better deal on pirate ship honestly i'm not gonna be able to get them in like a very small box they're obviously big boots so yeah i'll check it out see if i can save a few bucks but otherwise yeah i'm just gonna eat a little bit of the shipping cost which it's okay like yesterday we sold something where i made like five dollars off the shipping so it just kind of works out sometimes you lose and sometimes you win and i think it all evens out in the end so yeah Like, if I would have priced those at $20 shipping, that person might not have bought them, you know what I mean? Right. All right, so then childhoods. Right. These sold actually yesterday on Posh, but like right before we did our video, so I, they bought them full price so I couldn't show you guys. Well, I could have showed you, but I couldn't have shipped them because <laughs> I had to wait three hours. So uh, yeah, these are just my son's childhoods pants and they sold for full price $34. I probably paid about that when I bought them because I think I bought them retail. Oh, this is something. You put the 
ugly side up front. <laughs> I'm probably gonna flip these around before I send them out. <laughs> it looks like an old one. It's got yeah, B4 it's very on there. Yeah, it's old. So uh, this we've had since 2019. There's some little baby North Face pants. I'm just gonna flip them around. First. In the picture, it shows this side of them. So if the person got them with the pink, they'd probably be like, what? So they're reversible, but yeah, they're little baby North Face pants. They're the cutest little thing. Um, I think they just sit and sell based on size, like they're zero to three month. I picked these up at Once Upon a Child again in 2019 for $8, and I accepted a $15 offer just to move them. So I get $12, so <laughs> two years, and I made $4 profit. <laughs> And we, we uh, originally were starting to do our inventory where it had the number. So that would be box B and then item four in there. We eventually realized that we don't need to have that number on there. Once it's in the B box, it's only what, like five to 15 items to look through. We realized spending the time writing a number on each item um, and making sure that we didn't write the same number twice and all this kind of stuff. It was just easier just to omit the number and mm -hmm. sticker and all that to get. So, just make sure we yeah. know what box it's in and then we could find it easily and i'll put them back in there and then we were just putting our thank you or sticker over it yeah. yeah over that to cover it up so and that was it for posh we did have two facebook marketplace sales one of them is a mug reese reese he came up to join you. us <laughs> he was downstairs on the couch i have to get that i can't reach that it's the united arab one Still wanting to make a mug rack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. So yeah, this is a Starbucks mug that I picked up a very long time ago because I sold like a couple of these, not the same location, but a couple locations, Starbucks mugs for like 30 plus dollars. And then I like kept looking for them and then I kept finding them, but then the rest of them were not selling very well. So yeah. I just dropped the price on Facebook Marketplace a couple days ago. Had it at 20 plus ship and I dropped it to 12 plus ship and then someone bought it. So I only paid 99 cents for the mug. But yeah, I think I still have two more location ones. That actually, the, I didn't even look up comps when I like bought them because they were 99 cents. So that'd actually be a fun place to go. United Arab Emirates. <laughs> go check out Dubai and all that. Yeah. One of those dream places to go visit. Facebook sale was these. Go ahead and say it how you want to say it. <laughs> oh, Allegrias? <laughs> yes. So <laughs> these I actually paid up for in like last summer, so I've had them for a while. I priced them high because I paid up so much for them. I paid $14.99. I'm glad they sold on Facebook since it's the least fee because they finally sold for 35 plus ships. So I probably about doubled my money after everything said and done. I think the fee was only like two something on those. All right. And the rest of the sales today are coming from our car. I didn't even check kids and I don't think I had any kids in sales. Let me check real quick. <laughs> it would be nice if there was like one unified location where we got notifications for I all mean, of our them. email. I just... Yeah, but <laughs> I'm talking like we need a ding yeah. for all of them. <laughs> <laughs> right? The cha-ching from eBay is <laughs> it always gets us excited. We don't get that from kids in and Poshmark. Right? Mercari does it. Mercari does. got from the bins part of the stimulus check challenge um i took an offer of 15 because they've been listed for a few months cleats don't really sell for that much in general so they did pay shipping as well so i made at least a 10 dollars profit which is what i was trying to do my sock <laughs> right af this is a shirt i bought my son and i don't think he ever wore it but the brand is june and january Took forever to sell, honestly, but I accepted a $12 offer. I don't remember what I paid for it. My, my guess is like I probably paid 15, so losing a few dollars on that. Another pair of boots. This one I was actually happy about because I feel like nobody's gonna buy snow boots till <laughs> fall, but yeah, someone bought these ones. Um, they sold for $19 plus ship. These are the, from the Bin Stimulus Shut Challenge as well. Oh, nice. So there's some Kamek. And we did wrap up the final Bin's Haul video. So if you haven't seen it yet, go back and check it out. 
that's actually going live today our time so <laughs> this video is going to be up after that obviously so uh, yeah go check it out and let us know uh, how you think we did on the ben ben's stimulus check challenge series Going out to a viewer, Ellen. She um, sent me a ten dollar offer this morning and said she loves watching our channel. So thank you so much, Ellen. It's just uh, Disney parks. I thought it was really cute, like a Mickey Mouse comic, comic strip yeah. type button down. And yeah, so I had a dollar ninety nine into that from Goodwill, so I was happy to accept the ten. Ellen, thank you so much. She said she bought that for her little grandson. Ellen, thank you so much for the support. All right, and then BS those are in there. We can fill back up. Alright, these are just some sass loafers. Uh, and they sold for $29 plus ship. I did pay $9.99 for these because they were like in basically perfect condition. They were a small size though, a six and a half women, so they took kind of a long time to sell, but $9.99 into $29. I'm happy with that. So yeah. That's it for now. That is it for now. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> pack these up and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got all that packed up and we did have a couple more sales come in. We're gonna shoot through them real quick. It is, we gotta pick up our son from school right now. So we'll, Seven yeah, <laughs> we're gonna show these off real quick and then pack them up off camera and do a closer after we get him from school. Yes, we sold one of the last two third love bras that we have listed so far. Um, I did steam all the rest of them. I think I have 37 more, so that should be listed this yeah, week. Yeah, we're going to get them up this week. If you are interested in any, yeah, definitely keep an eye on our stores. Uh, but yeah, this one sold for $21.96 plus shipping. And we have nothing into it. And then box paper. So these little baby kids. Um, I have $6 into these. That was my average cost of goods at the JBF. Um, was it JBF or... No, these were a once upon a child day. So six dollars average cost of goods that day. They sell these for like two fifty, but since I averaged, calling it six bucks, and they sold for fifteen eighty plus shipping. So I'll make like an eight dollar profit or so on those. And yeah. That was so. it. I did want to mention real quick, we did try pirate ship on those boots for going to Alaska. It Didn't. actually was like sixty cents more. Yeah. The way to get your cheaper deal on pirate ship is to do you have to like find a smaller box but those boots there's really no yeah, box like they filled the box we did the 13 <laughs> by 13 by 9 usps box and it there was no way we could get them smaller you know what i mean um and then i know a lot of people talk about bucks in the bag but honestly i think they're all doing it incorrectly so we don't really do that yeah um we we've been looking into it because like people are mentioning it like all the time and I just think that they don't understand how it's supposed to be. So maybe one day we'll do a video on that. But <laughs> yeah. Stir up uh, the reseller as, community. <laughs> as far as we are reading the instructions on Pirate Ship, it says that, like, you, it can't be obvious that it's a box in a bag. So it has to have, like, some slack. And, like, people, yeah. people are just putting it in a huge bag and then measuring it afterwards, yeah. after they seal it up. But you're supposed to measure the bag itself. And... Like, the only bag I could fit this box in is probably our, like, 24 by 24. Which would and be if, too big. Yeah, it needs to be under 18 inches to be, like, box in a bag. So, unless somebody's putting the 24 by 24 and then putting this in, then the measurements would come out to the 13 by 13. Mm -hmm. So, that's what they're doing. But then they're just doing it wrong because they're not measuring the bag before they put that box in. So, anyways... <laughs> We'll we have not found a situation where box in yeah. a bag would have helped us out at no. all. I have saved some money on pirate ship, but again, it was like heavier item that was smaller. So yeah. Anyway, we got to run off, get Connor from school. We're going to pack those up off camera, take everything off to the post office, and then we'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys, we are back. It is actually almost seven o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy just actually photographed all this stuff and... Yeah, we wanted to close out this video, but we did pick up this little cart off Amazon, which we used it today. Better than pulling all the polys out of a banker box. Yeah, so they're all separated now. and Don't forget, shipping hip. <laughs> <laughs> if you need any new mailers, Ginger15, right. link in the bio. Not the bio. Link in the description, in the description down there. But yeah, we just Help have support all of our small business. Yeah, bigger ones, smaller ones. I'm kind of thinking we might need another cart, though. I don't know. We'll see. 
<laughs> We'd probably just give it less a, mailers. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then yeah. So today I did list. I did do some listings over the weekend. So Saturday eleven, Sunday fourteen. I did not do any on our anniversary, and today seventeen. Um, so far, but plus this is like 42 items I believe I photographed. So Chris is probably gonna drop those after our kids go to bed, and yeah. then um, that's what I'm gonna be working on listing up tomorrow. So hopefully all 42 of them, because then that purple bin over there. That's been right is, under yeah, there. I'm gonna keep stuff just kind of organized and separated. So this was all the shirts, tops, dresses, yeah. jackets. That bin is all the pants, shorts, stuff like that. The shoe rack, I'm kind of waiting until it gets full again before I start working on that. And I think we mentioned it, but we've been using this other rack right here yeah, to have more storage. So that's kind of like where they're going to be until they sell because our top shelves are <laughs> full and we have a lot of bigger boots. And that and might not sell till fall. <laughs> yeah, so they might be there for a while. This box was actually there, so we're going to have to find... bubble wrap or something? Oh. Yeah, that's bubble wrap. Might have to go out in the shed or something, trailer. And all these bags on the floor. So, like, we processed all the bin stuff, and then basically... So, like, the shirts I washed, and then I brought back up and listed. We still have some loads getting yeah. recycled downstairs. And then this is all the stuff I've purchased since the bins in Denver. And then we'll probably do a haul of all that stuff as one, even though it's several stores and trips. But yeah, kind of like our yeah. our latest haul before the the last of the three. Yeah, so I bins, don't so. think we're gonna hit our six hundred goal still, but <laughs> we're gonna do our best. And yeah. mostly, I'm just gonna try not to source for a while till all this is photographed and listed. Yeah. We are going to at least hit 500, or we're at 500 now. We haven't really added it up or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, that is going to do it for this What's Old video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we're going to see you guys in the next one. Bye.